as soon as you're done with your pretzels. Because you don't already ingest enough salt. Fuck you. You fucking deer, do we need to just get you a salt lick? Fuck you. I'll go back on the brand. Oh, is that included now? Sure, why not? No, we needed to point out that, that Japanese food and food are two distinct categories. Well, yeah, because regular food has fucking Ooh, corn in it, and then statues. Japanese food is delicious. Uh, okay, fair. Uh, I will I will accept your your explanation. I like I how mean, they turn gold when you pick them up. Yeah, I was going to point that out, too. I mean, it's the truth, though. Yeah. Well, actual Japanese food, yeah. Not, not like Japanese a fake food. American Japanese food? I mean, even fake American Japanese food can be pretty good, depending on the, the constituent uh, ingredients. No. That's true. Like, you go to a regular ramen shop, and you, I have yet to go to a ramen shop in the States that's as good as, like, the hole in the wall we went into. It was just a random street corner in ramen Japan. shop in Japan that is probably, like, not even considered good ramen there, you know? Yeah. So, but part of that might also be... Ooh, I can pick up these light bulbs. Part of that might also be that food no is, sir. like, an ingredients thing. It's like the water in New York. Yeah. I mean, our water is fucking garbage. Here, oh, yeah, right? our water is just trash. And so it might be that the specific localized ingredients make Japanese food better. And, in fact, one could make a very profound, like, obvious argument that that's going to be happen with any ethnic cuisine. Like they're going to have developed the cuisine with the around the, the yeah the what's available yeah the the available nutrition. Sure, those are shooting words. at me. So not Marith, the alligator yet. Marith, I, so, I have a I have a topic. So John today. the Branch. <laughs> I'm just John the Branch now. It's your full name. <laughs> get the whole baseball team. I've got to I've got to <laughs> I got to get the whole team. We got to. Gotta win a game. You, you were saying? There's a little kid somewhere needs like his dad to come back, and I need a baseball team to win to do that. Uh, yeah, I was thinking about the success of our channel, the the relative lack of success. I don't want to be too hard and mean on us, but we've been around three years and we have 500 subs. You know, that's, I mean, that's not what we envisioned. We envisioned 500 subs in the first year. Well, no, you thought that. I was like, well, if we're lucky. We might get that. Yeah, and and don't I don't you, knock YouTube, it. I'm happy you, that people watch us. We have regular watchers now. This YouTube people is are entertaining a, enough to, to view. YouTube is a luck algorithm. And and it's a harsh well, it's not just, and that's part of what I wanted to talk about. There are some channels that do some really clever things to get in. So some people find a niche and exploit it, and some of them are really smart. Uh, first, I'm going to talk about Cheddar. That's just a science mm -hmm. education channel. Uh, I don't know why it's got the word Cheddar. It's like there's a channel called Mustard. Uh, there's, you know, there's, it's just these one-word channels that I'm are sure. have nothing to do with what they are. And Cheddar came on the scene, and what they did is they basically bought right. their way into the YouTube al algorithm. Very politely, they went to a bunch of other science education channels and said, Here, have some money, promote us on your channel. Like, give us a one-minute ad roll at the start of, like, five episodes. And they and they had good content, too. You know, it's not quite here's Skazat, but it's it's close. You know, it's a cut below. Yeah, or, well, Here's Exotic Here's Exotic is, of... like, the top, and they have a ton of contributors. And... Yeah, and they, yeah. they basically put a lot of money and effort into it. Oh, so. yeah, that animation is top-notch. Love it. And then, and and there are other ones, like, uh, Fact Fiend has been going on for a couple of years, and they just showed up on my radar in the last couple months. And I thought, oh, wow, these guys have been really interesting and really neat. And they, they knew they had a, the a plan. Both of the, like, th this is the common theme, is these people had a plan to get big and we're just doing what we want to do that's part of why we haven't had that that, that huge su success. that huge uh oh that's a dragon yeah, go around. yeah uh but yeah uh a fact feed is basically just crack listicles in video format made by one of the contributors to crack because uh crack had this huge shrinking a couple years ago where they just laid off half their staff and like cut all their video production uh, really cut the uh, the podcast of money, so now the people doing the podcast, it's still a good podcast, but it is not the production that it was prior. It's a little different. Yeah. And anyway, um, but then there's this one kid who just exploited a really good niche. He, he found an opening and he just went hammered home at it, and he's doing very good. In like three months, he's got a He's going to hit 100,000 subs by the time this, this aired. It's called uh, Fresh. Yet again, with these one, like, one word nonsensical things. And all he does is read Reddit posts. And like, 
Part of me is envious because, like... We could have done that. Yeah, we could have read Reddit posts. Especially with the... Like, he doesn't have the best mic. He's got about a, maybe a cut below audio quality of us. Half a cut below. And his delivery is probably about as good as we could do. Oh, there's that 5 meter I really wanted. Uh, but... Part of it is this kid, like, the kid had this one inside of, here's this underserved thing, here's this, uh, we'll call it candy dish content, this, ooh, I can just eat up this so 8 give minute me one video, more. and yeah, and I'll click on the next one, and it's just interesting enough to keep me hooked, it's, it's like candy, it's not good for me, it's not, you know, today I found it out, doesn't, it it's doesn't a little, actually serve any purpose, yeah, it's a, it's a level below today I found out, and SciShow, you know, it's it's definitely no no rare earth. Wow, I'm just naming every YouTube channel I'm keep keep, keep going. Let's yeah, just play I'm a name subscribed game. to. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to think about like what what we can bring to the thing, and I have not discussed this with you before the episode. No, you. But not. I think a thing that has been Neglected. making us more successful as of late that I would that I think we that that we just started to lead into that I think will make us better is. Like, just speaking our mind on controversial subjects, because a lot of Let's Plays are afraid to do that. Someone has been shooting at me non-stop for a long time. <laughs> Either that or there's a policeman who's just, like, really adamant inside the ball. He's like, I'm going to shoot my way up fucking out of here. <laughs> yeah. Definitely going to have to have the volume down on this episode. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's leaning into the, the, the you know, the... The the Jordan Peterson is is our our uh, oh, the reason that our we... biggest fan that wants us to notice him you know except our... he unsubbed so yeah, yeah yeah oh sure he did he's still got us on all of his apps yes if... well he's all the people that are commenting it's right? you know talking about politics because a lot of let's play channels don't do that because they say oh we want to be a safe happy place and I told I totally get that I a hundred percent know where you're coming through from you don't want to talk about it you don't want to be divisive to your audience. Uh, I think one of the things we've started bringing to the table that we previously hadn't is is that is that like, that visceralness that we're going to tell you exactly what's on our mind. If you disagree with us, we don't hate you or anything. Like I like you're allowed to, to have a different opinion as yeah. so long as you're rational about it. Yeah, I love talking Please to people bring that have different, back. In, in, different uh, uh, opinions from me. And and so like. As long as you bring back, we're good. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, reels over feels and all that. Wow, that I did pretty good there at the end, didn't I? I, I think we got just about everything. Just about. Uh, it's pretty big. <laughs> we imagine. It'll, oh, okay. I, I think that's. I think we'd make a much bigger. Oh my. Uh, let's see. Plants. Japanese food third. The earth really is full of. Things. Very, very interesting thing. Yeah, and then so like I, I guess I guess I I couldn't get into the politics. I I, w I wouldn't say to like primary like oh today on politics. <laughs> I said branch. we're gonna ta talk politics branch. Well no no just the once every now just and then when it comes and, up and being able to talk not about being it. afraid to talk. It. Yeah or or anything else on that matter. I I feel like we don't talk about our personal or we talk about our personal lives on a level that other people don't and I think that's a strength we bring to the table. We, we're we're a little bit vloggy and. I'm okay with that. Oh god. They snapped their neck and died. <laughs> the end! Alright, what do we got next? What do we got next? We uh, gotta, probably we gotta fill out like another minute to finish make this Make a episode. star nine and then like the next uh, constellation. Uh, make a star nine and Virgo. Virgo. Okay, let's see. What, is, what does Virgo take? Isn't Virgo a scorpion? Um, no, that's Scorpio. Virgo is... Uh, the... Prettiness. Pretty things. He wants pretty things. Cute girls. He wants. He Hot wants, men. Yeah, cross dressers that are very passing. Uh, what? Cross dressers that are very passing. Like, like well, what, what are they passing? Like, like passerbys, like street uh, shops. Gas. He, the the king has a has a fart. Oh, fetish. he went to Chipotle. Why? <laughs> no, he just has a fart fetish. Oh, uh, I mean, I guess if that's what you want, sure. <laughs> Just, I mean, some people are into it. Don't let me. Don't make me be around it. Oh, okay, not into the fart fetishes. No. I mean, eh, it's ah. it's a weird no deal, cake right? Farts. No. <laughs> All right, Just, there. We did it, Amerith. We finished the episode by talking about farts. No, we gotta go somewhere else. Next here. time on the branch. Thank you.
Thank you.